Good morning, everybody, and welcome to IIT Bombay for this workshop for coordinators in preparation of our main workshop uh, for participating teachers across the country on introduction to research methodologies. I am Deepak Fatak. I teach here. I am the project coordinator for this uh, empowerment of teachers program through workshops. For this particular workshop, I have my colleague, Professor Uday Gaitonde, who is the co-coordinator. Uh, we have one of the three faculty members who will be the main faculty here, uh, Professor uh, Karmalkar, who is from IIT Madras, uh, Professor Sahana Murthy, who is my colleague in the education technology. Both are both will be addressing you in absentia, but we have one person present, uh, Professor Santosh Narona from Chemical Engineering. I would also like to introduce the chief guest of the function today, Professor Rangan Banerjee, our Dean of Research and Development, under whose office all the sponsored and consultancy projects in IIT are conducted, including, of course, these MHRD sponsored projects. Tradition demands that I I welcome the guests with a flower bouquet. Thank you. So, thank you so much. Professor Gaitonde, thanks for agreeing to coordinate this workshop. Thank you very much, Professor Narona, for being personally present here. While, uh, while we do use e-learning mechanisms, there is still no method available to offer a bouquet to Professor Karmalkar in IIT Madras and Professor Sahana Murthy, who is in Europe somewhere. So, we will skip that part. This particular inaugural function is a short function. The objective is twofold. First, to let you know the basics of why we are doing all of these work. Second, to get to know you all. And third, of course, to have some words of wisdom from our dean regarding not only these projects, but the other things that are happening in IIT, particularly in the context of relating to and working together with other institutions in the country. So, without further ado, I would like to first tell you about these workshops. Some of you have been participating as remote centers in our plan. These workshops attempt to engage a very large number of faculty members simultaneously on a chosen subject. You will all be familiar with IST workshops, which are typically conducted for one week or two weeks. But the attendance in this workshop or participation in this workshop is often limited to 35 or 40 people, 50 people, because these workshops are held at a specific place. When you organize these workshops, you have expert faculty either from your own institute or from other places who address the participants. We have always felt that this model, while it worked well in 70s and 80s when the total number of engineering colleges were very few, when you have 5000 engineering colleges and a very large number of teaching faculty, actual or hypothetical because the need is very large, it is impossible to engage those faculty members in that number by this model. We attempted certain distance e-learning uh, initiatives here in IIT starting 10 years ago from this very place which was then the school of IT. Now that activity has emerged as a center for distance engineering education program which encompasses and provides an umbrella support for all of our distance education. But during those, that phase, we got a funded project from TRIFAC to check whether we could engage faculty members at a distance with the same effectiveness uh, with which we conduct these programs at our own places. This model envisaged the establishment of certain remote centers, which were well identified institutions, which had the, not only just the infrastructure, the internet bandwidth, etc., but also had a slew of expert faculty members in different subjects 
so that one of them could become a workshop coordinator at the remote center. The model that we follow is we enroll people across the country, the enrollment happens centrally. In the main workshop, 30 to 50 to 100 people assemble at each of the identified remote center. The lectures are given from IIT Bombay, but the afternoon labs, tutorials, discussion sessions, etc., are held in the remote centers under the direct supervision of the workshop coordinators, a local workshop coordinator. Obviously, if you want to have the same level of engagement and to ensure the same kind of qualitative and quantitative coverage, it is important that all the designated workshop coordinators come together at least once to exchange ideas on how to run the labs, how to run the tutorials, etc. So, we started conducting coordinators workshops. Our mandate from the Ministry of Human Resources a year ago was to conduct these workshops in the basic engineering courses. We started with a pilot course in computer programming. This was followed by a course in thermodynamics which was conducted by, no, uh, this was followed by a database course by Sudarshan. Uh, we have since conducted nine workshops. In fact, the tenth workshop is going on as we speak, which is on computational fluid dynamics. And some of your colleges are actually conducting that program. The program has met with great success. The feedback that we have received uh, has been absolutely excellent. And the ministry is quite happy that a whole lot of funding which has gone into this project has actually enabled a lot of teachers to improve their own uh, teaching methodology and so on. About three months ago, the Secretary H.E. when she was visiting here, the then Secretary H.E. Ms. Vibhapuri Das, she announced that they will be asking IIT Bombay to train 1 lakh teachers in next one year by enlarging the scale on a logarithmic level by one unit, by say order of magnitude. So they said you engage 10,000 teachers at a time. I had then told her that we will possibly do this workshop in December, uh, but I was told by the ministry that if you could do it earlier, then the lessons learned from this scale up could be used to improve things further and in the next year we could conduct these workshops more. We have then extended the total number of remote centers that we had earlier engaged with. We had a total of 78 remote centers so far and mostly 35 to 40 remote centers would participate in any one subject depending upon the availability of an expert faculty in that subject in that place. This time the subject we have chosen is introduction to research methodologies. The, I will speak more about this particular subject, why it is chosen and how do we propose to do it later. But the idea is that this is the first time we are ever attempting a engagement of 10,000 teachers. Uh, some of you who have seen the website might know that more than 6,400 participants have already enrolled. Uh, that was yesterday evening, so I don't know what the status is today. Fortunately, the website was down in the night because of some IIT connection problem. I say fortunately because I am now worried that if more people enroll, uh, of course, I have promised people that we will conduct this workshop again if necessary. There are a whole lot of logistics issues that need to be taken care of. Plus, there is requirement of what we call a frequency match between how IIT Bombay wishes to conduct this program and how the respective workshop coordinators look at this. As far as we are concerned, we treat workshop coordinators as our image in the local remote centers because 35, 50, 100 people who assemble there are connecting to you on a day to day basis on an instant to instant basis not to us. They do listen to our lectures, they do interact with us asking questions but the main task is as if you are conducting that course there. and that is why when the IST certificates are given, the certificates are signed not only by the workshop coordinator here and the project coordinator here but also by the workshop coordinator at the local remote center. We will discuss these details later. But the fact is that amongst you, a large number of people are actually becoming a remote center for the first time. And that means that you will have to imbibe not only what we wish to discuss in this particular course, but you also have to imbibe the usage, the right usage of the technology that we use 
we shall have sessions here which will expose you to all such things so with this i would before i begin the introductions of all the participants here i would like to request my dean of research professor rangan banerji uh, to kindly share his thoughts with you good morning to all of you it's a i am delighted to be here uh, on behalf of the institute it's my pleasure to welcome you all and uh, to see that we are beginning some of you already have a partnership with us but uh, we would like to have a stronger partnership with all of you and with all of your institutions i'd just like to say a few words on uh, i see that the topic is research methodologies uh, i was not sure whether i'm going to be talking in the cfd or research methodologies but <laughs> i saw that the topic is research methodologies i just want to tell you a few things about why research and why is it important to all of us and, and so if you see a, any uh, engineering or science uh, educational institute as it matures we started for instance you look at the iits we are now a 50 year old organization of 50 50 plus 52 years in the initial phase our focus was on establishing our educational programs that typically the undergraduate education program as we started evolving after about 2 to 3 decades of our existence we started emphasizing the postgraduate program over the last 2 decades our emphasis has increasingly been on research and if you look at it today in iit about more than 50% of our students are post graduates we have about uh, every year 180 to 200 phd students um, degrees being awarded and increasingly the emphasis on is on research uh, when you look at research you can look at the typical metrics when you look, whether you look at publications or patents or revenues and in all these metrics our institute is on a very significant growth path um, but we had some internal discussions with all our stakeholders and we feel that uh, the focus is now on seeing that our research makes a difference makes a difference and an impact in society and uh, if you see today india is one of the few countries in the world where science and technology is a preferred choice at the 10 plus 2 level we also have a very significant demographic advantage because we have a very young population and we are we have the advantage of having the best students coming in for science and engineering now the challenge before us is to see that we retain this interest in science and engineering and see that this interest turns into something which gives we go into the research and we add value to the society that we are in so that we can really provide a competitive advantage for our economy and this has been recognized nationally by our uh, policy makers and uh, administration where you see that the prime minister has said that from the 0.9% of our gdp we want to increase quickly ramp up to 2% of gdp uh, that means the r and d spending but how will this happen this will only happen if our people like us all of us who are in the academics emphasize on research and emphasize on and build the capacity and the capability amongst our students and our staff to carry out research effectively in order to do this it's important that we must have a link with the real world we must understand what are the kind of problems that are there we must understand what is the motivation choosing the right problem is a very critical thing when you start so when you look at research of course we may do me to research something is being done somewhere and that may be a way of learning but also to see the context see that if we solve this problem what is going to happen so in almost every field of science and technology there are many many unresolved issues and if you look at your environment around you you will see 
several problems which need solutions. Some of them need just development, some of them need uh, research and the way to understand and identify where we would focus to get groups of people cutting across the different disciplinary boundaries, putting them together to see that what we are doing when we look at research adds value to society. And I think one of the things that we are delighted about this kind of uh, workshop is to you know we are reaching out and creating a multiplier effect. We are linking out, linking up with other engineering and science colleges, we are linking up with you and then together we can make more of a difference. So we would like to encourage uh, these kind of courses, but in addition we would like to encourage the linkages that are required to facilitate and enable this. That means tomorrow you start doing this and in a particular theme you say okay I need to have this kind of a infrastructure facility and you find that this facility is available let us say at IIT Bombay or at some other place. Then your researcher should be able to come and spend some time here, use that facility, do the research or you have a problem you are stuck somewhere where you, you, you want someone to verify it. We identify a person who can act as a resource. So together we can see how we can make more of an impact and more of a difference. Uh, we must understand that uh, we are a poor country and our resources are limited. So we need to make sure that whatever resources are deployed have a multiplier effect. And for this we have to have a, a spirit of cooperation and a long term vision. We must have an idea of what we are doing the research for and of course we must see um, this step where we look at the different methods of research and uh, the different goals. Uh, and another important point in this is when we look at research and even an exposure to research, even undergraduate students can get motivated and enthusiastic about their core subject engineering and science. So what we find and this is true in almost all countries of the world that at the under, after doing a basic initial degree in uh, engineering, many students prefer to go to finance or marketing or, but if we can enthuse them and if we can excite them about the challenges that are there in their field through some kind of research exposure that would also be very exciting. So there are lots of challenges and every challenge is an opportunity and I think we would welcome working together with you in overall looking at research methodologies, overall looking at how to enable research across the country and then in specific fields having courses and, and having even laboratory sessions. You have virtual laboratories or actual physical laboratories and please feel free to interact, give your suggestions and see how we can together make sure that we make a greater impact in research. Uh, and this way all of us would be fulfilling the role that we are supposed to fulfill in society. Uh, so once again I would like to say that I am uh, really delighted to have the opportunity uh, to say a few words to you and uh, I hope you have a very interesting three day workshop and then finally you actually uh, the other interactions and the actual uh, workshops that you have for your faculty members uh, is the beginning of a long term relationship which will enable all your faculty and your students to um, get the research exposure and fulfill their aspirations with some help from colleagues here at IIT Bombay. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, Professor Banerjee. Uh, towards the end I will tell you one very special provision in our Akash project which Professor Banerjee has approved which permits a larger engagement on research front with most of you. I will briefly mention it and elaborate it later. But first, we would like to know a little bit about you. Of course, some of us will interact with you over the next three days. Uh, but it is traditional in our short inaugural uh, uh, events uh, to let every participant tell us his or her name, uh, the institute one comes from and the particular subject or discipline that one is engaged in. So just a short uh, 30, 40 second introduction. Uh, you need not stand up because we are recording from this camera. So we will have ultimately all the video recording incidentally. I would like to remind you 
that everything that we say and talk to each other is recorded and the edited audio video recordings are made available in open source. It applies not only to the main workshop, but it applies to all the workshops that we conduct including this one. Of course, these recordings will be useful only to you and people like you who will be coordinators later, but that has been the tradition. Uh, so, could we start uh, from one end please? You can keep sitting sir, but just tell us your name and the institute you come from and the field that you are in. Good morning. I am Dr. R.K. Selo Kumar. I am working as a professor and vice principal, Cape Institute of Technology, Levanchipuram, Trinalveli, Tamil Nadu. I was uh, working at a visiting professor at MS University. At that time, I, am I was handling research methodology two times for M.Tech students. Good morning. My name is Dr. Kodar Baidin. Uh, I came from National Co I am uh, National College of Engineering, Trinal Valley, uh, Department of Computer Science. I am working as a professor. My area is digital image processing. Good morning. I am Dr. A. Shaujin Arknam from Nurul Islam University. I am working as Director Academic Affairs and Professor of Computer Science and Engineering Department. Good morning, sir. I am Murli Dhar, Associate Professor in Mechanical Engineering, Tandai Periyar Government Institute of Technology, Velour, Tamil Nadu. I am Suresh Babu from National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, Chennai. I am working as a scientist B and it's more of a research kind of organization. It comes under Ministry of Communication and Electronics and Information Technology. Thank you. Good morning. I am Arun Vinod. I am working as an assistant professor in Royal College of Engineering and Technology. Uh, my area of interest is digital image processing. Which place? Trishur, Kerala. Trishur. Good morning. I am Professor Sandeep Mane. I am working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Rajaram Babu Institute of Technology, Sangli, Maharashtra. Good morning. Uh, my name is Vithal Kamath. I am coming from Anand, Gujarat. IIT Mumbai. I am a IIT Mumbai uh, alumni. I am a principal of Madhuban and Banubai Patel Women's Engineering Institute. It's the first women's engineering institute in Gujarat. Myself Sundar Raj from PAG College of Technology. I am from Mechanical Department. Last four years I am coordinator for teaching research methodology subjects, especially oh. for research scholars. Wonderful. Uh, good morning everybody. I am Prabhat Patel, Associate Professor in Department of Electronics and Techno uh, Electronics and Communication in Jabalpur Engineering College, Madhya Pradesh. Good morning. I am Neelam Jodhari, in, uh, Assistant Professor in Computer Science Department. Uh, my institute is Vivekananda Institute of Technology, Jaipur, Rajasthan. Jai Shri Kundargi, KJ Somaya College of Engineering, Mumbai. Uh, area of interest is uh, signal processing, particularly image and video processing. I am Dr. Sudha, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, National Institute of Technology, Tuchirapalli. My area of interest is information extraction. Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Vaijayanti, Sastra University, Tanjavur, uh, Tamil Nadu. And my areas of, I am, uh, uh, I belong to the School of Management Studies. And, and my areas of interest are human resource and uh, organization behavior. Good morning to all of you. I am Hitesh Mehta. I am representing Sarvajanik College of Engineering Technology, Surat, and I am in a Department of Electrical Engineering. Thank you, sir. Good morning to all. Myself, Ramnivas Gujar, from St. Margaret Engineering College, Nibrana, Alwar, Rajasthan, and I am from Computer Science and Engineering Department. Good morning, all of you. Myself, Dr. K. C. Roy, I am from Pacific Institute of Technology, Udaipur, working as a professor. My field of interest is digital signal processing. Thank you. Good morning, sir. I am Darshna Hudda from Deenbandhu Choturam University of Science and Technology, Murthal, Sony Pathariana. I am system analyst and head computer center and also teaches at computer science and engineering department. Good morning. I am Dr. Smitha Chandran from Amrita Vishwadhyaya Pedam, Kerala. I am working as an assistant professor in environmental engineering department. Now I am engaging classes for research, all research scholars in, uh, in all disciplines in our university, uh, research methodology I am engaging. Thank you. I am Nandagobar from Sasuri College of Engineering, Tirupur, in Department of Information Technology. Area of interest is in image processing. I am N. Chatish Kumar from Erode Builder Educational Trust Group of Institution. 
and i am serving as an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering and uh, my field of interest is di digital image processing good morning myself varsha zokarbha i am from kcb technical academy indore madhya pradesh my area of in interest is wireless technology good morning sir i am nazia hussain from ips academy indore working as a assistant professor thank you Good morning. I am uh, Jomol Joseph from uh, Mar Basilios Engineering College. It's a college in Trivandrum, Kerala. I am from the electrical department. Good morning. I am Rasik. Uh, I am working as assistant professor in uh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from uh, Government Engineering College, Sri Krishnamuram, Palakkad, Kerala. Uh, my area of interest is linguistic technology. Good morning. I am Justin George from Tokaj Institute of Science and Technology. I am working as an assistant professor in the department of AAA from Ernakulam, Kerala. Good morning. Uh, I am Jay Krishna from Amal Jyoti College of Engineering, uh, working as assistant professor in Computer Science and Engineering Department. Good morning. My name is Bibin Jose from St. Gis College of Engineering, Gautam. My area of interest is Thermal Engineering. Good morning. Myself, Arvind Des. I came from Vishwajyoti College of Engineering and Technology, Varakulam, Kerala. And I belong to the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Balaram. I came from Indore Institute of Engineering and Technology, Siddipet, AP. Uh, de uh, department of C I belong to CSC department. My interest subject is uh, computer ne networks. Yeah, I am Dr. Edwin Raj. I am a professor in mechanical engineering department from St. Saviour's Catholic College of Engineering, Nagarkoil, Tamil Nadu, Kanyakumari district. And I head the research and development uh, center of our college. Good morning, all of you. I am Dr. A.P. Hivrekar from Vidya Pratishthans College of Engineering, Baramati. I belong to Mathematics Department. Good morning to all of you. I am Sanjeev Saini from APITST India, Panipat, Haryana um, in Electronic Science Department, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department. Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. A. Kovalan from Piriyar Maniyam University, Vallam Tanjavu. I am Department of Computer Science and Application. I was uh, taking a research methodology for the first one year. Good morning to all. I am Suresh Kumar, assistant professor in IT department, Sona College of Technology, Salem. My area of interest, open source technology. Good morning, everybody. I am Vishnu Murthy, uh, working as a professor and head of the department, Computer Science, Anurag Group of Institutions, Hyderabad. I am the resource person for uh, Institute of Electronic Governance and Birla of Campus Programs. Now, my area of uh, Interest is array grammars, image processing, and computer networks. Good morning. I am Dr. Jayanand B, belonging to Government Engineering College, Idiki, Kerala. I am a professor in Electrical Engineering Department. My area is Power Electronics and Drive. Good morning, all of you. I am Dr. Rajan Bargis, working as Dean in KME Engineering College, Aliva, Ernalan District. I belong to Mechanical Engineering Department. I have been guiding students for the MTech in various fields in mechanical engineering. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Dhananjay Ikhar from Dattamega Institute of Engineering Technology and Research, Varda Maharashtra. I am um, assistant professor and head of mechanical engineering department. And besides, I am the R&D coordinator for the institute. My area of interest is uh, human factors and ergonomics. Good morning, everybody. I am Jayangiri from Eshwandro Chavan College of Engineering, Nagpur. I'm working as assistant professor in mechanical engineering department and my area of interest is automation and robotics as well as advanced optimization techniques. Good morning all of you. Myself Dr. L.K. Saini, SV IT Surat and I belong to Department of Applied Physics and may I, uh, my area of interest is photonics and applied optics. Good morning sir. Myself is Dr. V. Madhusudan Reddy. I came from Mallareddy College of Engineering and Technology. So I am working as associate professor of physics. So I am working on uh, nano composites and polymer alkaloids from Hyderabad. Sir. Good morning. This is Swami Bukya from Prasad Engineering College, working as assistant professor uh, in EC department. And uh, my interested area is uh, wireless communication. Good morning. I am Vijay Kumar, uh, working as uh, assistant professor, Lenar College Engineering, Rajamandri. And we are. I am interested in area is um, network programming. Thank you. Good morning. It's an, uh, myself, Narendra Kumar. I'm working as assistant professor in BRC College of Engineering and Technology, Bahal Bihwani, Haryana. Hello, good morning. Myself, uh, Khurd Veji, assistant professor, civil engineering department from Sanjay Godot Group of inst Institutions, 
Atigre Kolapur. Uh, my area of interest is structural engineering. Good morning. Myself, Professor D. U. Shah, uh, head of the EC department of School of Engineering, RK University, Rajkot. My area of interest is uh, image processing and microprocessors. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I belong to the mechanical engineering department of Goa College of Engineering, and my name is Milin Sakhardhande. I am Dr. C. V. S. Murthy, principal, Kakinada Institute of Engineering and Technology, East Kodori District, Andhra Pradesh. Earlier, uh, I worked a scientist for 35 years in an institute of chemical technology hyderabad which is part of csr system and my area of interest is modeling and simulation uh, good morning uh, i am vishwari gaikwad from tenajing college i am working as associate professor in computer department uh, i am handling a me coordinator as a part of job again my area of interest is neural network and image processing Thank you. Good morning, all. I am Dr. B. Priestley Shan. I am representing St. Joseph's College of Engineering and Technology in Kotayam. Uh, actually, I am the professor of postgraduate studies in that college. My area of interest is signal and image processing for biomedical applications. Thank you. And good morning to everyone. I am Dr. Sanjay Goa from Bila Institute of Technology, District Durg, State of Chhattisgarh. I am professor and head in the Department of Management. Uh, presently, I am also taking the course of research methodology for PhD scholars and my area of interest in the management is brand choice, branding and consumer choice. Thank you. Good morning. I am Sunil Metre from Textile and Engineering Institute, Itzalkarnji, Kolapur District, Maharashtra. I am pro Associate Professor in Textiles and my area of research is uh, studies in thermal behavior of uh, textile materials. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Uh, myself, uh, Manohar Koli, Assistant Professor, Computer Science Department, University BDT College, uh, Dawan Gere, from Karnataka, uh, Karnataka State. My area of uh, interest is uh, image, digital image processing. Good morning. I am Dr. Suhas Raut. I am working as a professor in Computer Science and Engineering in uh, Orchid College of Engineering at Sholapur. I am uh, Working as a PhD guide also at Solapur University and Shivaji University. Incidentally, I am alumni of uh, IIT Bombay, and my both MTech and PhD guide is sitting in front of me, Dr. D. B. Fatak. I'm still happy to keep learning from him. Thank you. Good morning. I am Dr. Emily Ghosh from Theme College of Engineering, Boisha. I work in Applied Physics Department. Uh, good morning. This is Abdul Majid from Theme College of Engineering. Uh, I am working in a IT department. Uh, which place? Boise. Boise. Boise Thane. Good morning. Uh, I am GP Bhole from VJTA and I am from IT department. Good morning. I am Lalit Vadva from ENTC department, Padamshiri Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Engineering, Pune. Thank you. Good morning. Myself, Bahasa Balkhari. <coughs> Uh, from, uh, I was working as an assistant professor in Bharti Vidyapit College of Engineering, Khargar, New Mumbai. Thank you. Good morning, respective faculties. Uh, I am Jainish Rana from uh, Vidya Bharti Engineering College of Institute of Technology and Research Center, Umrak, uh, Badoli. Uh, I am working as an assistant professor in EC department, and my area of industry, uh, in interest is industrial electronics and uh, digital signal processing. Thank you. Good morning, all of you. I am Professor Nidhya Jain, College of Engineering, Pune. And my area of interest is cloud computing. Good morning. I am Dr. Sridhar from Tiyaraja College of Engineering, Madurai, Tamil Nadu. I am working as an Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department. Good morning, all and all. I am Dr. R. Palanichami, a Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Sudarshan Engineering College, Pudukotai. Uh, previously, I was in Mepco Slang Engineering College, Sivagasi where I was the coordinators for the thermodynamics oh. in mechanical engineering. I was very much inspired by Professor Gaiton Day lecture. Uh, we called as God of Thermodynamics. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. I am Dr. E. Gopinathan. Presently, I am working at Wales University, Chennai. Formerly, I was with NIT Calicut. For the last 40 years, I worked there. Now, last year I retired and then joined uh, Wales University as Dean School of Engineering. Myself, Dr. P.S. Mani. I worked in ISRO over 32 years. 
After retirement, I joined uh, teaching. I am uh, Dean of uh, Mechanical Engineering, Rajalachim Engineering College, Chennai. I am, my area of interest are experimental techniques, fracture mechanics, image processing. Good morning, one and all present here. Myself, Dr. P. Santosh Kumar Patro. I am from Agni College of Technology, Chennai. I am working as a professor and head in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And my area of interest is Artificial Intelligence and Computer Network. Good morning. I am DG Sogule, working as a professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, TKIT Varnanagar, District Kolhapur, Maharashtra. My area of specialization is soft computing and signal processing. Good morning to everyone present here. I am Dr. R.K. Janamurthy, working as a professor and principal in Vivekananda College for Engineering for Women, Tirichangodu, Namakkal District, Tamil Nadu. My area of interest is computer networks and mobile adapt networks. Thank you. Good morning. Ramesh, Department of ECE, SRM University, Chennai. Area of interest is uh, digital communication. Good morning. Myself, Varun, Assistant Professor of ECE Department, and I am Chef Technology, Madurai. And my area of interest is I reconfigure antenna. Good morning. I am Dr. P.C. Gupta from Jaipur Engineering College, Jaipur, Professor of Chemistry over there. Thank you. Good morning. I am Santosh Deshpande, working as Head of Department, Institute of Management Career Courses, Pune. Uh, my research area is uh, Computer Simulation and Modeling. Good morning. I am Munir Ahmed Dar from uh, National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology. It was previously called as DOEX Center Senior. And uh, we have conducted all the workshops, right, starting from uh, the programming, which Professor Fatak has coordinated. Thank you, sir. I'm Dr. Lakshmi Priya, Faculty of Engineering, Avnashlingam University. I head the Printing Technology Department. My specialization is eco-friendly printing. Good morning. I'm Dr. Kanimali Chelvi from Konge Engineering College, Perundurai, Eero, Tamil Nadu District. Tamil Nadu State. Um, my area of interest is uh, data mining and databases. Good morning. Myself, Radhika Zoshi from Electronics and Telecommunication Department, College of Engineering, Pune. And uh, my area of interest are wireless communication and mobile ad hoc networks. Good morning, sir. Myself, Mahesh Porwal, working with Electronics and Commissioning Department at Srinathji Stuart Technology in Nadwara, Rajasthan. Good morning. I am Om Prakash Dave, working as an assistant professor in Dungarpur College of Engineering and Technology, Computer Department. Dr. T. S. Rathor. I was in IIT as a faculty in Electrical Department, retired in 2006, and I joined St. Francis Institute of Technology, Burivali, as a dean and as a HOD of EC Department. I published one paper, one book, Digital Measurement Techniques, which has been translated in Russian also. We bring out from the college a technical magazine called Avjana. My areas of interest are basics in electrical engineering, analog and digital circuit, digital instrumentation, signal processing, uh, Swiss cassette filters, etc. Thank you. It is my privilege to mention that when I was a student in SGS ITS Indoor, if, I think 64 to 69, Professor Rathod was my teacher for some time. Good morning all. Myself, Viral Kapadia. I am from Birla Vishwakarma Mahavidyale. I am from Computer de Department. My area of interest is Distributed System and Processor Design. From Gujarat. Good morning everybody. I am G. Nagapan from Savita Engineering College, Chennai. And I work for CSC Department as Associate Professor. Morning. I am M. Prabhakaran, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering. I am from Pirmal Manmail College of Engineering, Ozu, Tamil Nadu. And my area of interest is machine design and composite material. Uh, good morning. I am Dr. Devashish Niyogi from School of Management, National Institute of Technology, Agartala. And I teach research methodology in the first, se first semester of PhD coursework. Right. I am Dr. K. Visavir from Knowledge Institute of Technology, Salem, Tamil Nadu. I am Professor and Head of Mechanical Engineering. My area of specialization is uh, heat transfer and CFD. Good morning to all of you. I am Sanjay Sharma, working as assistant professor in the School of Computer Science and Engineering, Shri Mata Vaishwan Devi University, Katra, Jammu and Kashmir. My area of interest is distributed computing and digital image processing. Good morning to all. Uh, I am Ashok Kumar Sharma, uh, associate professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Yagulak Institute of Technology, Jaipur. I am Dr. Shashikan Goilkar, 
uh, I am working as associate professor in mechanical engineering department and presently I am in charge principal in uh, Phenolex Academy of Management and Technology. I am alumni of uh, IIT Bombay. I worked under the guidance of Dr. Hirani, Harish Hirani and Arunban Goha. I got a lot of help during my PhD work from uh, Banerjee sir uh, and, uh, and Dr. Ga uh, Professor Gaitunde sir, especially the boiler from the steam power engineering lab. <laughs> and I am very happy to uh, contribute uh, in this research methodology workshop. And I'm very uh, thankful to the IIT, um, the research methodology coordinators for giving me a chance to uh, work uh, for the uh, workshop. Thank uh, you. Where is this academy located? Is it Ratnagiri? It is in Ratnagiri. Ratnagiri. Yes, sir. Ratnagiri. Good morning to all of you. Myself, Rakesh Goel. I am from Chitkara University, uh, Rajpura, Punjab. I am in mechanical engineering department. My research area is carbon nanocomposite mixed with uh, some uh, coatings. Uh, in the surface modification techniques. Good morning. My name is Dr. Arun Sharma. I am from Krishna Institute of Engineering and Technology, Ghaziabad, uh, Uttar Pradesh. I am professor and head in computer science de department. Good morning. I am Dr. Saurabh Channa from National Institute of Technology, Kurukshetra. So I am working as assistant professor in electrical engineering department. My area of interest is power system operation and control. A very good morning, sir. This is Mayur Patil, uh, serving for a Department of Computer Science and Engineering for SADM College of Engineering and Technology, Dharwad, Karnataka. I, on behalf of college, express sincere thanks for choosing our college as a remote center. Uh, I am interested in data mining. Thank you. Uh, good morning to all of you. My name is Muhammad Arif Adin Sohel. I belong to the Electronics and Communication Engineering Department of Mufakamja College of Engineering and Technology, Hyderabad. My area of research is analog and mixed signal IC design. Thank you. I'm Gopal Krishna from Manipal Institute of uh, Technology, Manipal, Karnataka. I'm basically a mechanical engineer. Slowly I migrated to management side. Uh, we are having a uh, open elective in UG and um, it's a compulsory subject in MTech as well as in PhD program. We need a lot of research methodology teachers also. I've been given next semester this subject. So this workshop will be very useful thing to me. Thank you. First of all, I want to say uh, thanks a lot uh, to you for giving such good opportunity. Myself, Atul Kumar Srivastava, I am from Truba College of Science and Technology, Bhopal, MP. Uh, last time I have attended, Feb, March, uh, I have attended your uh, uh, workshop in MIT Bhopal. That was very good. I got uh, very much from them. And uh, thanks. Myself, Kesam Misra, working as assistant professor in SIRT Excellence, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. I extend my thanks to IIT Bombay on behalf of my institute for choosing us as remote center. My area of interest is communication engineering. And another area of interest is overall development of my group as a research center. SIRT Excellence, Bhopal. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we're slightly late, but we can make up by reducing the tea, tea break. I just wanted to say a few things in con concluding remarks. Uh, first of all, I would also like you, uh, uh, I also like to introduce some of my colleagues who have been uh, the key uh, supporters of this event from the uh, technical and administrative management side in IIT. First of all, Dr. Mukta Atre, he, Mukta is there. Yeah, uh, well, she is the one who must have been corresponding with you. Uh, she handles all the logistics of the workshop. Uh, Mrs. Jaya Gayatunde Jaya is what I call her my finance minister. So she handles all finances diligently. She is the one who is going to collect your PA bills and hopefully give you a check before you leave. Then we have uh, uh, Prakash Vaidya who has been our advisor uh, for these workshops for almost uh, eight years now. We have Kalpana Kannan. Uh, who is the content management side when all the contents are created to get them weighted and put them on the website and so on. Uh, Rachna is my secretary, but another important person is Mahendra Parmar, who is the in charge of all the registration processes of all the 10,000 teachers and is completely inundated with work. Because what could be done as a manual intervention in case of emergency cases for 1,000 teachers which used to be 100 at most. And now he is finding out for the first time that things are not hunky-dory. I forgot the key element. Sajjan Dikshit is our uh, 
Oh, you're familiar. All AV, all AV. Uh, uh, Professor Banerjee, he was curious to know the spread of our centers. I'm sure all of you are. So, Professor Gaitunde has prepared a map. Please notice that we have a very, now, some of you may say it is natural because we as IIT Bombay are located in the west coast. But technology has no concern for where you are located. But you can see the spread is like this with something added right up to Jammu. Technically, we span the country from Srinagar to Kanyakumari and, and, and from uh, west coast to uh, Agartala. But you will agree that we have a long way to go. Uh, for the 10,000 mega workshops, I have an approval from the ministry to identify up to 300 remote centers and even more, not all of which may participate in all this. But I am thankful to all of you. Uh, it is my request that when you go back, try to identify colleges by talking to your friends in areas such as these uh, to get more and more coverage. Uh, the last one I would like to mention is that you might have heard that IIT Bombay has been given the responsibility of carrying out the Akash project, the Akash tablet project. About two and a half months ago, the project was transferred to us. And the proposal that we have made, the, the, this project is by the way for uh, procuring one lakh tablets and use them for empowerment of teachers in engineering colleges and students in engineering college. So these, this particular project has nothing to do with school education directly. But the project proposal which I submitted and which as Dean R&D, he has approved it from within the institute and ministry has approved it, involves the engagement of multiple engineering colleges in the country where we will be distributing uh, for the research purposes, they will never be given away to students. They will continue to be property of IIT Bombay because there is no cost for these uh, tablets to be collected from students or teachers. So we propose to use these tablets, 60 or 70 tablets for a particular subject that will be taught at the selected engineering college. Plus we will be giving about 15 to 20 additional tablets for final year students and ME students to do research on which will involve development of new applications and development of contents, not necessarily for engineering college education, but for school education, for Indian local language education, for signal processing, etc. So this proposal has been approved by the dean. Uh, we will also be providing some additional funding to each selected institute, uh, where uh, uh, we will provide funding to set up a server and some Wi-Fi connectivity points, etc., etc. So those institutions which are interested will be seeking requests for proposal. And the first set of institutions which I have in mind to request for proposals is all our remote centers. So those of you who are interested in participating, the Dean has kindly approved this proposal to engage all of you. So this is our way of continuing the engagement on larger front. Thank you so much.